Hey, 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 what's happening, YouTube? Brandon and... Look, I guess it's just Brandon. Back in business, actually, always in business. Okay, yeah, fuck, this not my intro either. Hey, hashtag come to Seattle. Maybe, uh, guys start the uh, hashtag Ege Fitness come back to Vegas. Just thought, we miss Ege. But, anyways, today, it's Sunday. Have the day off, and about to go train back and shoulders. The only problem is I don't have anyone to go with right now to film, so I'm hoping I can find someone there, catch a few clips of some back and shoulder training, since that there was a few requests for that. If not, it's okay. I will owe you guys one. Uh, me and Yogav, Yogav's Turkish is uh, becoming very, very good. So his Turkish training will continue at the pool today. We're gonna go uh, to I don't know which pool we're gonna go to. Maybe maybe Luxor, MGM. Anyways, we're gonna go to some pools. Turkish training is gonna continue. Maybe we'll meet some nice big booties, but we'll see. I'll catch you guys in the gym. Hopefully, I can find someone to help me film today. Back and shoulders. Back is like the number one muscle that I need to build up for my next competition. So, it's gonna be somewhat focused on rows, rowing movements, try to build more of that thickness in the traps, that 3D motherfucking look. And then for shoulders, you know, always trying to get the, that nice round cap look. So, I'm gonna focus like probably one compound movement and then Followed by some raises, just hit it from all different angles. So I've got a uh, special guest from one of the basketball videos you guys will probably remember. Just ran into him right here, so I'll probably get him to film a couple sets for me. Not gonna tell you who it is. You guys will have to wait and see. But we'll catch you guys in the workout. Gonna hit this shit. Cool. Okay, back day starting. So it's warmed up with. Uh, sure, they're kind of working sets, but did I didn't forgot to film them. I did four sets of uh, wide grip pull-ups. Work on the width of the back a little bit. It's just a good overall back there. I, I love pull-ups. But anyways, first exercise. I'm gonna do right here. Old school exercise, T-bar rows. I'm using, um, if you can see the 25 pound plates. Because you can pull it up to your chest. Get a little bit more range of motion than the 45s that would like hit your chest a little, a little bit, a little bit sooner in the concentric contraction. So, I'm just gonna hit these, probably a rep range, 10 to 12, try to get that good squeeze at the top, stretch at the bottom. All right, exercise number two. One of my favorites lately. Barbell bent over row. Great back builder, great for mass. With those traps, doing a uh, so a pronated grip, thumb down, spot shoulder width apart, coming back, trying to feel the squeeze all the way down, full, uh, all the way down right in the traps. So, I also forgot to add on all these exercises today, I'm just adding one set at the end, like in addition to the sets of like eight to 12 work, the, work, the working sets of like eight to 12 reps. I'm doing one set at the end, not a drop set, it's just a standalone set of uh, 20 reps. Just, you know, add a different stimulus to the body, get the pump, it's just fucking raging. So let's get into this. So, oh, I got to look good for this camera. After uh, he took him to school, Charles, you know, still working on his, his gym game, his basketball game. Back in the gym. He's back at it, man. So we got Charles here today. He's going to help me film. He's uh, coming in clutch for me. Uh, this, uh, so it's third exercise right take here. Take you to school. You take, take it, you to school yeah, is you, back. You, That's my phrase. You play him in basketball, he'll take you to school. So any one of you guys invited to come, uh, come to Vegas, Charles calls all of you guys out right now. Come to, come to UNLV I call gym. All of them. Come play in basketball. So, anyways, third exercise. He's gonna do a dumbbell row, three sets, 
all of these sets will be drop sets. Just uh, you know, do something a little bit different. Get a better pump. Add a little bit of stimulus to the body. Let's get it. About to show you guys something you've never seen. Charles has so much style. The guy can walk on his hands. Let's check this shit out. Watch out. The floor is I'll go. go all day. If any of you guys can do this, post a video. Tag me. Challenge Charles. Hand walk. I'm walking or basketball. Oh, you keep going. What do you guys say to them? Hey, you do anything, challenge me. I'll take y'all at anything. You take them all to school. <laughs> take y'all to school. I do it all. Last back exercise. Exercise. It's number five. I'm gonna do a uh, close grip. Pull down, close grip pull down, again emphasizes the lats, somewhat more the upper lats than the lower portion of the lats. Super set with a uh, rope pullover. This one's just going to blow up the lats, <coughs> just doing that pull down, followed by that isolation of the rope pull. Try to super set out, tell me what you like. Lats should be on fire when I'm done with this one. Okay, gym is done. Um, I only had a cameraman for back day, so just it's just a little back footage. Next time I'll show you guys some shoulders, but can't show you guys all the secrets. So gotta keep gotta keep a little bit for the next time. And dude, you gotta take a uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah. So right now, me and the Yo Gav whoop, are on the way to the pool. So. Pool time, baby. Yeah, we're gonna go catch a tan, go to the pool, you know, maybe see some big booties or something. <laughs> but it's a fucking gorgeous day outside. Yo, Gav has something to say. He's been practicing his Turkish. Merhaba, kanka. Nasılsınız? Good? Ayyeyi? I don't know the rest of the words. And then uh, say, uh, pool gidiyorum. Pool gidiyorum. Ben yaptım pool gidiyorum. Kankalarım. Le havuz gonu ben riz. Turkey etin! Turkey and Gurusurus, come on. So, the pool of the day, Luxor pool, reason is, it's the only hotel we have a key for right now, but it's an alright pool, you know, we go anywhere where there's tanning oil and what sunshine. Matters most, what matters most is the tan. Yeah. You don't go yeah. to the pool or anything else but the tan. Yeah, exactly. So today the priority is the tan. Gym done. Tan done. And you know what? Mark it Three. up the list. Yeah, done. And it's not over. There's more coming. Oh, it's never over. It's never over. When we got 
five days off. This is a good call. Always a good call going to the pool. Work hard, play hard, man. Gav actually just got off work. I have the day off today. So, you know, you just gotta sometimes have those days where you just relax a little bit, you know? Kind of decompress. Get out, get ahead. Yeah. Get but anyways, out, since your Gav's uh, been in an appearance in some of these some of these vlogs, he's been in, uh, you know, when me and Ege, he's been on the main channel for a while too. But you guys don't know much about him. So, we're gonna get to know your Gav a little bit. He's taken a sudden interest in the Turkish culture. So, I'm going to let you guys get to know Yogav just a little bit. So, tell him about yourself, man, where you're from. I am from Hawaii, living in Vegas now, uh, killing it in the gym, riding out summer, and letting summer ride us. Yeah, yeah, let summer ride you, that's a good, good way to put it. You know, not too hard, definitely control it still, but anyways, yeah, Gav's from Hawaii. He's been lifting for a few years, loves bodybuilding. Definitely a very Tashakli. Slow kaka. process is better than no process. Yeah. Yeah, he likes Asian girls, so if any of you guys like Asian girls, message him. He's uh, the Asian girl connoisseur. If you need car parts, come over yeah. to car parts. Yeah, Gav, if, you're, if your car Hold breaks down in Las Vegas, Gav got you. He'll, Everything he'll fix on the house. <laughs> he'll fix your car, he'll give you free car parts. It's a very good guy to know. What's up, man? Hey. Say, say hi to them, man. What do you... What do you... Hey, uh, say Nasasinus. Nasasinus. Nasasinus Kankalaram. Nasasinus Kankalaram. There you go. Kankar. Yeah. Kankar. Kankar. What do you think about Turkey, man? The country of Turkey and the people of Turkey. Okay, well, I'm from America, so we don't know anything else but Woo! America. Okay. So I don't know what Turkey is besides Thanksgiving. Okay. When the pilgrims came. But the country, man. The country, <laughs> Turkey. Oh. The Turkish people. This is who you're talking to. Oh, hi, Turkey! Yeah. Yeah. Um, Turkey. Are Turkey and Turkish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Turkey came from? Yeah. yeah. Turkey, like. Turkish people came from Turkey. Oh, but Turkey didn't come from Turkey? Yeah. So say one thing to them. Say, say bak kazan slash. Bak kazan slash. And then, <laughs> very good, man. All right. When the when the gay guys when the gay guys like you, I guess it's it's a good thing, right? It's just a little disclosure on on today. There's uh, Sundays apparently at Luxor they do a uh, an event for for gay guys, right? So there's a lot of them walking around today, and. <laughs> Oh, we on the best side. Oh, uh, we just chilling, man. Catching a pump, you know. Yeah, so. Are the girls? Are the girls over there too, man? I mean. Yeah, girls are over there, but I'm trying to tell you, the gay fuckers be spending money on you. I'm not gonna lie. They spend good dollars. Yeah, you're not gay. I'm not gay. See, I'm pansexual. You know what I'm Wait, what is it? Pansexual is when like. You don't have a sexuality. Oh, right. You just kind of everything. So, yeah. so do, you, do you like girls too? Well, okay, see, this is the thing. My coworker is like getting at me. She's trying to like fuck me. And I'm just like, I'm gay, but. Uh. Been having gay guys come up and hit on us all day. But, uh, look, man, if gay guys hitting on you, I guess it's a good thing, right? Yeah, the gay guys like you, like the girls have to that like you too. That must mean something because yeah. a lot of straight girls love gay guys. Yeah, yeah, man. And look, you know, some people hate on gay guys, and honestly, the the way I look at it is, the more gay guys there are, the better, because it just makes the ratio better for us, like getting girls. And to be honest, if your friend, if you have gay guys that are friends, you know, as long as they're cool and everything, and they know, you know, they respect the fact you're straight. Dude, that it can be a serious tool in pulling girls. Because when girls see that you're friends with a gay guy, like, it's kind of like when you're friends with, like, a girl, almost. Well, I don't know, not really, but just be... Having, having a gay guy as a friend can definitely pull girls, because girls love gay guys. So gay guys just naturally, most of them will have girls around them all the time, and if you have it good, the gay guy can put in a good word for you, and, and you're in, man. Bottom line is, happiness is key. Whatever yeah. you are, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, so so don't don't be a hater. Some people hate on gay guys. I know, like in Turkey, it's uh, kind of a sensitive topic. But in America, man, honestly, no one gives a fuck. So I'd say just uh, you know respect people for who they are and 
as long as you know, like I said, as long as as long as they respect the fact you're straight and you know they don't make any moves on me, I'm cool with it, man. <laughs> if every guy in the world was gay and me and Gav were the only straight ones, guess what? Saplachi would be <laughs> all to us. We'd have all the su- we'd be able to saplak all the memes and popos. Tashak kebab. Yeah, <laughs> tashak kebab. One tashak kebab, like against one million girls, we'd be outnumbered. It would be impossible. It'd be astronomical. <laughs> So we're sitting here at the pool, and you know, the yoga have just brought up something that we want to address. There's something that a lot of Americans, well, I don't know about all of them, but a lot of them, they need to know about the, the Turkish people. I'm not, I'm not Turkish uh, that I know of, but there's something that you need to know that you make friends with a Turkish army, the army of the Turkish people will be your friend, and they are the most loyal people that you could ever mean yeah. you guys are fucking awesome man like the, the the Turkish army we have is unstoppable if you find people from a different country that supports what you're doing and gives you all the support you, can have, you, you don't even have to ask for it and they'll give it to you mm-hmm. stick with that be loyal to them if they're loyal to you hopefully one day we'll come to Turkey I know we'll definitely come to Turkey one day and visit you guys because honestly, it'd be, it'd be fucking awesome to meet up with y'all one time, like in Turkey, Istanbul, Izmir, wherever, man. And, you know, we'll get some baklava, we'll get some Iskander kebab, <laughs> we'll drink the iron, and, uh, and all that other, I honestly don't remember the other names of the food we have, but the Turkish food is good. And I will definitely come to Turkey just to have some of that food and catch a pump at the Turkish gym. As requested by one Kanka. He wanted more swear words in the vlog. So, I think it's only appropriate to teach Yo Gav some Turkish swear words. Gav, repeat after me. Sikteret. Sikteret. How sikter? How sikter? Um, fuck, what was the other one? Uh, Oros Puchoju. Oros Puchoju. Oros Puchoju, how sikter? Sikteret. Oros Puchoju. What? Oros Puchoju, how sikter? Sikteret. I'll stick there, stick the red. There you go. That was a lot of swear words for you guys. I hope that dude enjoys it. We had a little interruption during uh, Yogav's Q and A, but I just wanted to throw in his channel, so you guys can go check out. I'll link his channel, and uh, he's vlogging today too. So if you guys want to learn more about Yogav. Check out his channel. We're gonna film some workout videos on his channel too. Get that shit popping. So go check him out. Give him a subscribe. Subscribe. Can't fucking talk anymore. So we went to the bathroom. There's optimal lighting in this bathroom, and we're gonna film a little pose down for you guys. But what happened in the bathroom, Gav? What was going on so in there? So what happened was we did not walk in on anything. We were walked in on from. Fruits. Two, Two gay guys. Men. Yeah, and they uh, they started hooking up in one of the stalls. We won't get into any details, but yeah, we, me and Yo Gav had to get no, the no, fuck no. out let's, of there. Let's get into that detail, shall we? So what happened was. Oh no, this is where the party's at. What's going on over there, man? Well, you guys are husbands. No, 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 man. We're straight. We're just here chilling. Yeah, yeah trying to Why find. Why did you some... ask me if my name was Dan? No. Yeah, later, bro. Know, I live down the street, going to barbecue some chicken. That's up. There we go, man. Some of these hoes. Where are you at? I need to get home. I need to get this. Don't get be chicken. driving. I'll be fine. Okay, take walk. some water. This motherfucker about to drive home drunk as fuck. Daniel is out. We've been sitting here just, you know, trying to enjoy ourselves today. Just been getting relentlessly hit on by all the gay guys. Yeah, one gay guy called me daddy. It's, just, it's out of control here, yeah, man. Yeah, he's like, damn, daddy. Out of control. <laughs> and you just like sit there like, oh, th- thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh Try to be God. polite. I think one of the funniest, like, my stories with a gay guy hitting on me is when we were at XS, uh, the club. A gay, I'll remember this one. This guy comes up to me, and he's just like, hey. And I'm like, what's up, man? Like, it was night swim, so we were in, uh, like, uh, board shorts, like, swimsuits. 
he comes up to me, this like just big tall guy, bearded, long hair, does not look gay at all. And I'm just like, yo, like, what up, bro? And he's just like, I can see your dick through your shorts. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And he's like, I'm just recognizing what's good. <laughs> and then he like pounds it with me. I'm just like, uh. The good old uh, Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> like, I don't really know what to tell you, but I think after that, like, this conversation's over. This guy's a relentless. It never fails. I wish, like, girls would come after us with, like, half the amount of effort that guys do. But it's okay because the compliments are there. Yeah. That's yeah, all right. You know, we go. We'll go after the girls. It's we'll we'll be, be the something. hunters. It's yeah. Be. yeah. Compliment from gay guy or girl. He, they're both good. It's all good. Because I feel like a lot of the times with girls, like they're less likely to approach a guy. So maybe they're thinking the same thing like the gay guys are thinking. It's just like the chances of them approaching you are so low. So just my two cents on that one. So that being said. If you are a guy and you see a girl, I know I've talked to a few of you guys in the DMs about this. You see a girl you want to talk to, whether it's at the gym or the mall, wherever, man, just fucking go up and talk to her. A lot of the times, girls don't even get approached by most of the guys they think are attractive, right? Yeah. So, connection is key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of you guys, young guys, you know, you're kind of just go up and talk to them, man. Me and AK have showed you guys in, you know, several videos where you just go up and talk to girls, even uh, dress with a ridiculous mustache pretending not to speak English. They give the numbers. Let so, go of those insecurities. Yeah. Be the man, be confident, but most importantly, be yourself. Go ahead, dance it up, man. Dance it up, man. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Where all the mayhem's going down. <laughs> there are some bad, bad things going down over there. This nice chocolate. That's it for the pool. We out here. It's like 6:30. Pool's closing soon. About to go get some food pretty soon. Fucking. I know we always go into sushi. You guys have seen us get sushi like so many times, but I'm gonna go get sushi tonight because it's fucking bomb. So. Might take you guys just to a different spot, so at least it'll be a new setting. But I don't think the Yogav can join us for sushi, unfortunately. Not today. He got a nice chicken dinner waiting chicken for him dinner. at home. But right now, in the Luxor Hotel. You know, just show in the physique. Show the physique everywhere you can. This is Gav's car. You guys already know, we always fuck with Toyota. Fucking ready for some sushi though, man. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. So, pro tip for if you guys want to incorporate some kind of cheat meal, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's gonna be like a high calorie meal. What you can do to make it a little less detrimental <laughs> to your body composition, if you so choose. Um, so, basically, I have, I track all my food as you guys saw in my uh, bulking diet video. And what I'm going to do today is just take about 1,000 to 1,500 calories out of what I'd normally eat. And I know in sushi I'm probably going to consume like 3,000 calories, like two or 3,000 calories. But, you know, to just add a little bit of uh, buffering to the damage, I'm going to take pull food, some food from my normal diet. So I'm not going to necessarily be as fucked up from putting all this food in my stomach. Oh my god, so hungry, time for sushi. So, tonight, we are down in the Chinatown. You guys probably didn't even know Vegas had a Chinatown. Yeah, it's all like Asian places down here. I know you guys seen sushi before, but I just had to show you guys again. I love this place. We're at the other Yama Sushi today. So the same same company, just different building. It's a little bit bigger. But we're here with the Juan Jr. And we're going to see how much sushi we can put down. So normally, we we'll go for like maybe uh, maybe four or five of these rolls. It's pretty good for me. Like you guys know I'm not a super big eater. But today, we're going to see if we can get five of these motherfuckers down. So how many you got tonight, man? What's the projection? 
Maybe six if I want to destroy my soul. We're going for six, so we're going to see if we can do it. We'll keep you guys updated as it goes along, but we have uh, almost reached that point. For me, it's pretty good, though. That's five rolls, five of those big-ass rolls. There's like eight pieces on each one. Mr. Wands, how much you got, dude? How much you went down? I ended up going six, and I fucking hate it. You got fucking six rolls done, man. I'm one behind, so I might have to get a six one to tie them up. But it's not over because we got the sushi rolls now. We're probably going to go get some sides, the appetizers, and then definitely going to finish with the ice cream. Oh, God. All right, sushi was a success. I actually PR'd tonight at sushi. I finished six of those rolls. Fucking... So full, like ridiculous. Shout out to Juan for uh, joining me in sushi tonight. So we uh, we definitely fucked that shit up. Ate a bunch of food. It was a good time. Anabolic as fuck tonight for sure. Gonna make some gains off that sushi. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Catch you on the next one. We out of here.